Hey guys, it's Dylan. Um, I was getting ready to stream some Zelda since I am now back from my break and I'm a little late. I still need to, uh, you know, get in, get back into the groove, get my schedule going, you know, all that. But I have not watched the gameplay demonstration of Tears of the Kingdom, so I'm about to watch that right now. And I don't have a button to go back to that, uh, that capture. Whoopsies. Give me a second. I figured that's just to prepare myself to get back into the groove of streaming some Zelda stuff, I would watch the Tears of the Kingdom gameplay demonstration. So, without further ado, let's see this. What have you got for me, Mr. Aonuma? Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. First, I have some news. Mm -hmm. Development on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Yes! Thank you very much for waiting. Oh, yeah. it was worth the wait. Many of you are looking forward to this game, and we've released a few trailers so far. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and show you what it's like. Okay? Let's begin. Using Joy-Cons, cool. Here we are, in the land of Hyrule. So like got the, the horse. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast... Whoa, whoa, okay, I gotta pause for a second. Look at that. Okay, I'm not covering this up. My camera's already in a great position for this. Look at that. Look at this new mini-map. Is that... Is that the final... That's gotta be the final thing, right? Do we have... We have got coordinates. Whoa. Okay, that's something I definitely did not expect. Uh, fundamentally, everything looks roughly the same, although the UI definitely has changed. The uh, barometer looks a little bit different. The colors are changed. The horse looks exactly the same. Link is wearing his stuff. And the thermometer is now different, too. All right, let's let's just continue. I just wanted to point that out. They definitely have changed a couple of things with the UI, and I'm not sure what's going on here. He'll probably have something to say about it. World to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. Certainly. In this game, the vast world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. You'll notice some land masses floating up there. We call them sky islands. Of course. That's what everybody was calling You're them. You're probably wondering something. How do you get to the sky islands when they're so high up? Mm -hmm. Wait, what the heck is that? Take a look. Oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? I wonder what that is. Hang on. Let's head over to it. Wait, 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 wait. I, I I thought that was a ramp. Give me one sec. Oh, are these building materials? That would make sense if they're uh, if they're starting to rebuild Hyrule. Never mind. If we take a look, oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? The heck is this thing? I wonder what that is. Let's head over to it. Or that. What he's talking about. We're almost at the spot where the object fell. Ah, oh, yes. I always loved climbing in this Here game. Okay, let's use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell... Oh! Look, it started rising. This power is known as Recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Mm, Since I recall. just used Recall on the fallen rock, I... Okay, my, my webcam is covering it up, but you, you don't need to see that. can now rise into the sky. We're a lot closer to the Sky Islands. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. Whoa! There are a few other Sky Islands floating here, too. I love the paraglider redesign already. I made it. There are lots of ways to reach the Sky Islands, so we hope we'll try a few different methods. Okay, now we're on a slightly bigger sky island. 
Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. We saw that in the trailer. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Mm -mm. Let's walk around for a bit. I was so preoccupied with what was going on. He's got another ability There's a branch activated. The when you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Of course. Let's continue. What if the tree branch is actually oh, going to have a there. legitimate use this besides fighting? This is a brand new enemy called a construct. Construct. We'll fight it using the branch we just picked up. <laughs> ah, tree branch branches broke. have roughly Good the same durability. Good. Quick, get another branch and... We defeated it. Moving on. Zonai charge. There we go. Zonai, they're named in the game. We've now explored more of this Sky Island. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here and do this, look, we can huh? stick them together. We created a makeshift hammer. This is called Fuse. You can stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. Wait, wait. Let's take on another construct with this fused weapon. We're dealing with two of them at once. Oh my. Oh, we beat one. The weapon's attack has definitely improved. Oh, the oh what's the broke, durability this scaling? Weapon has much better durability. Okay. I'm just wondering how how the durability scaling is going to work with that. Jeepers. Wow. One other thing I noticed about the, the UI that has changed is this little Apple icon on the up. Up used to be uh, switch runes. I wonder what that's going to be now. It's probably healing. You can do something. all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. I can't wait to You can try. fuse two weapons, for example. If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork... Wait, what the heck is... We can create a weapon with a much longer attack. <laughs> what? This is with ridiculous. This, we don't have to get too close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. You can also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. Fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow and... Ooh, wow. You can freeze faraway enemies. Very useful. Wait, you, should, you, you can just addition, make ice? Hmm. Hold on. You can fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow and... Very useful. Oh my gosh. In addition, hmm, let's see. You can essentially uh, make ice arrows around. now. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. <laughs> so, at times like these, I thought it was going to hit on the. <laughs> here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Fuse it to an arrow and. What? Whoa! Look, it honed in on the target. Let's try this on another bird. So not only have they I'll made it possible. General direction. So not only have they made it possible to fuse weapons, but they've also made almost every monster drop useful for more than just elixirs. That's that's actually kind of crazy. Whoa. That's very simple. Depending on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. <laughs> well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's fight Wait, an enemy with this. Puff shroom? What? I blocked with the oh! shield. Okay, there's smoke now. The enemies lost sight of Link, so... <laughs> attack! No way! Even if you struggle with combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. 
In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. We'll want to cross this one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. You just get stamina. Of course, there isn't anything that resembles a boat around here. So, we'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. Uh-huh. Let's do one more. We'll bring this over here you making a and raft? attach a third log. It's a makeshift raft. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Ultra Hand. Even though the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. It looks like a modified uh, Magnesis you can ability. You attach things or detach them like this. Now, if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. Uh-huh. We've made a simplified version of a boat. However, it won't move in its current state, yeah. so we'll need something to propel it forward. Wait, 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 wait. Are you actually going to use a boat oar for its intended purpose? I, is, that, is that what's happening? Hmm. There's something here. Let's wait. try hitting it. <laughs> oh, wind. It's blowing wind. Looks like we found a fan. Why don't we try attaching it? Ah, oh, recharges. Cool. Oh, this is like watching Gmod we'll gameplay. Another one. This should make the boat well balanced. This is like watching Gary's mod gameplay. Okay, what the heck? Attached. All right, let's try moving the boat. Hey, there we go. Moving. How do you it's steer it? Pretty fast with the wind from the fans. Wait, how do you steer it? <laughs> Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. All right, we reached the other side. The heck is that? Wait, who was in that? The most recent trailer. That we Hold on, that was a friendly NPC, and I was about to comment on on this, this picture here. Yeah, this was in the other trailer. It looks like you can just. Make use Ultra Hand to make weapons. There's the, there's the Death Mountain spewing malice thing again. We showed scenes of Link riding a large car and a flying machine. Oh, I didn't even see those the flying vehicles. Machine. Actually, aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. There are oh, all that's sorts awesome. of objects you'll come across in this game, and depending on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. So, oh, try wow. crafting different things and explore this world at your leisure. There are even more new abilities. I'm at a loss for words Take right now. Take this building over here. Okay, watch this. Is that it? Look, oh, we saw that. passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through to the floor above you. There are some restrictions, but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. Hmm. For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. How are the restrictions going to work like this? If use the ability here... Ooh, nice new cooking pot. What? Come on! Keep going! Okay, we emerged at the top of the hill. <laughs> in the previous game, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Here's another example. Imagine mm. you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. So oh, there's another construct. I mean, I... I can see a few issues with this. Like, how exactly is it going to be restricted? Like, he didn't... Um, he didn't really explain what the restrictions are. 
I imagine that if if like you're underneath a mountain and the mountain is too big, you can't pass through it. But huh, interesting. I'll have to see how that works when I get the game. I already have pre-ordered the physical edition and the amiibo, so. It seems to be holding a strange weapon. <laughs> Some holding a sign. are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Ah, it blew me away with wind. <gasps> Ooh. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. Ah, oh, yep. Oh, there he goes. Off. Oh, well, let's just return to the surface. Yeah. I love this skydiving. You can descend from the sky to the surface like this. It feels so good. Can you dive? In can the you, sky, like, you'll be able to look out across dive? the land. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Once Wait, where is he? Where is he? Okay, so Death Mountain is over there. I think that is the um, the Northern Labyrinth. So, roughly near Kakariko, I think. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up, like this. Let's dive into this river. And we're back on the surface. There are oh, still this... so many things I'd like to show you, but let's leave it at that for now. Oh, wait. Okay, so kind of close to Kakariko. I was a little bit off. I know that stable from the previous game. What did you think? Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. Yes. In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Okay, and this next bit, I think, is about the... the new Switch OLED. Just over a month away. I don't think I'm gonna get this. Yeah, the reminder of the broken Master Sword. So, there were no story spoilers. He was very much in sandbox mode there. Now, I kind of want them to... I kind of want them to make a demo for this, but the only demos for Zelda-related games that I know of were um, Cadence of Hyrule and what was the... No. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Age of Calamity. Wow. Wow, guys. I just... I'm at a loss for words for that. I mean, this game... Oh, system update? Fine. I'm, I'm just at a loss for words right now. That trailer was pretty incredible. I I like the changes that I've seen so far to the user interface in the game. And being able to fuse stuff, you can craft things. That was something that we really wanted in Breath of the Wild and uh, something that was has been partially implemented with mods, being able to craft stuff. I'm glad that we're going to be able to legitimately craft things in the game. I hope that they're keeping the cooking system. Like, pretty much all the conventions from the previous game, I hope, still exist, except for the Sheikah Slate. I feel like keeping the Sheikah Slate in would be a little too much. I think that was just for Breath of the Wild. 
but I am very excited. I think, um, let me know guys if I should stream this game, but I have been thinking about recording a Let's Play for it instead, an uncut Let's Play just for YouTube, because I would rather not have trolls in the chat spoiling. Well, that's, that's a really minuscule reason. I, I rarely ever get trolls, but the thing that uh, really is pushing me to that is I want to be able to complete the game at my own pace and being able to stream it only once or twice a week would be a little bit restricting. I just want to be able to record whenever I want to and not be confined to a streaming schedule. So um, I would keep the playthrough uncut though, um, unless there is something dumb happening and I just need to cut. But definitely let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, I will get back to you on that. Bye-bye.